Getting started with the Mega 2560, whether you bought an Adventure Kit 2 or just happen to wash up ashore with the waves while surfing the internet, this video will help you with getting started and setting up your new board. So what is the Mega 2560 Rev 3? It is an open source microcontroller design from Arduino based on the AT Mega 2560. Hence, that's where the 2560 comes from. I could bore you with a bunch of numbers and the specs, but it's essentially a superior version of the Uno R3 design, um, which is also our hero board, is, what our, is what's based off of. It has more processing power, substantially more pinouts, and can be programmed using the exact same software. Fun fact, since it is open source, you can either buy an official Arduino Mega 2560 or one from somewhere like <coughs> inventor.io slash hero XL um, for like half the price. Um, and then we should function exactly the same. So let's get started with installing the necessary software you need to begin. You will need the following, a computer with a USB A port. Um, that is the USB that looks kind of like this. And it's not the USB C on some of the newer MacBooks or similar. Um, if you have a newer MacBook, it's fine. You just need an adapter so that you can plug in this cable. Um, you will also need a modern operating system such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, or Chrome OS. If you are using Chrome OS, your installation will be slightly different as you will need to install a browser extension version of the IDE instead of the typical installation, and that's just due to operating system limitations. Um, so if you do have Chromebook, go down below and there will be more information down there for you there. So assuming you are not on Chromebook, we should continue. So let's navigate to the following, arduino.csli/downloads, and this should get you the most recent version of the IDE. If you're looking for an older version, um, we might have an older 1.8 or something similar on our website at inventor.io slash downloads, but you can always get the most recent version right here. So I'm on Windows 10 or newer, so I can just install this one. If you are on Linux, you can install one of these two options. And if you're on Mac OS, if you are running an Intel based Mac, which is the slightly older Macs, but not like super, super old, um, you'd select this one. And if you are running the new M1 chip, for instance, if you bought a, Mac, a new MacBook past maybe 2021 or 22, um, you can select the Apple Silicon. If you're running M1, M2 or I guess higher, because um, I'm sure they'll come out with an M3. So I'm going to download the Windows installer. Um, once you download and install that, it should eventually um, have an icon somewhere. Um, if you don't know where it is, you can go here and search for it, Arduino, and it should pop up. So I will click on this installation. So once you have it downloaded, installed, and opened up, it should look something similar to this. Uh, the UI might change from version to version. This is something that uh, does happen. I think, for example, if I go to Arduino and I go to this app, then you'll see that the UI does change at least a little bit, but functionality, it's essentially the same thing. Bottom line, whether yours is on version 1.8 or whatever and looks like this, or it's version 2.0 whatever or et cetera, and looks a little bit different, the functionality is essentially the same. So don't worry too much about it. Now we're gonna make sure our board is plugged into our computer. As you can see, it's plugged in on this end on the Mega 2560 board. And what we're going to do is we're then going to check to make sure obviously the USB cable is connected to the computer here. Now we can go to, we're gonna install later, ignore that. We're going to go to here. It popped up for me automatically. Um, if you don't see it, you can go to the select other board and port and you can type in a 2560 and it should pop up with Arduino, Mega or Mega 2560. And you can see mine only has one COM port. If you see more than one COM port, don't worry. Sometimes the IDE will accidentally think various peripherals like webcams or keyboards might be a device it should look for. Um, usually it's the highest COM number, assuming you plugged it in last after booting up your PC. Um, if you don't see it, again, check your USB connection or try grabbing a different printer cable to make sure that there's no issues with the cable. Once you have it selected, you can click OK and then you can navigate to File, Examples, and then you want to go to 01 basics and click the blink.ino program. Uh, this code will blink the onboard LED on your Mega 2560 board. If you can successfully get this running, it means that you are set up for anything going forward. So now that we have that open, you can see it pops up here. 
you can hit this upload button and what it will do is it will verify the code, compile it, and then once it's compiled and it says, hey, this is good working code, there's no syntax errors, it'll push it up to the board. And as you can see, this little LED here, on, off, on, off, on, off. We can see it successfully running. We also have the output down here. It's just simply giving an a output saying that it's using 0% of the program memory space, basically nothing. It's a very, very simple program um, and not using up too much memory. This is just an output saying it was done successfully. If you don't see this and you see something else in the output, maybe it's complaining about the COM port or maybe it's saying that it's not talking to a device. Again, go up here, make sure you selected the right COM port, um, try a different COM port and make sure you have obviously the Mega 2560 selected. As you can see, again, it's now blinking. You can also change it if you want to just test this real quick and see how you can change it on the fly. Let's change it from delay of 1000 milliseconds or one second to let's just say uh, 200. 200, which is two tenths of a second. And we hit upload. And once it's done, it finishes. You should see it now go much, much, much faster. Make it even go crazier. Watch this. Then let's just say it's 50. And then we can have a little disco party. Nice. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys are all set up using your Mega 2560 board now.